Hello Autopsy 87, The Quiet Atheist here. This video that I'm going to make today isn't necessarily a response video to what you said in your video about Levian Satanism. I just thought that I would offer some thoughts towards you and throw some opinions your way to let me know what you think about them. Because there's a couple of things in Levian Satanism that I disagree with. I want to make that known first and foremost. But back in my day when I was steering away from Christianity, I was constantly looking for other things, you know, looking for other possibilities to get into because I started to disagree with Christianity pretty much. And one of the first things that I stumbled across was Levain Satanism. I checked out the website, I started to read all kinds of information, you know, read about other individuals as well, including Anton Levay himself. And that's when I stumbled across the Satanic Bible. Now I started to read information about the Satanic Bible. And when I sat there and finished with what I was looking for, I literally came to the conclusion that there was a couple of things that I disagreed with. And that was probably the f reason why I steered away from Levain Satanism. Now the first thing that I disagreed with was the fact that in Levain Satanism, they tend to say that you're to ignore the weak, that you're only to love yourself, you're your own God, if you will. And to me, I disagree with that, you see, because I like to help people that are less fortunate, that are weaker than I am, like they so adequately put. You know, that's just not me. I like to help people in any way I can. You know, that's something that I enjoy doing, you know, and perhaps I could do a lot more of that in the future. So that is one thing that I disagreed with. Another thing that I disagreed with that was pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back on this whole issue was the fact that I watched a video with Nicholas Schreck, the founder of the Werewolf Covenant, I think it was. He said that basically, you know, all secular humanists were nothing more than candy-coated Christians. Now, I had a very serious problem with that because I myself am a secular humanist. And I am in no way, shape, or form a Christian. I'm an atheist now. And that's one of those things that I have a problem with, you know. I simply disagreed with what he had to say about that. And I think that secular humanism has nothing to do with Satanism in any way, shape, or form. And the last thing that I had a problem with was the fact that I heard a lot of people say that, you know, Anton LaVey and all of these individuals involved with the Church of Satan basically didn't acknowledge that Satan, a.k.a. Lucifer, existed. They said that he was fake, you know, he didn't really exist. But my whole problem with the whole issue is the fact that they use him as a representation of their position. Now, if an individual uses a pink unicorn to represent their position, I personally wouldn't agree with that either. I don't agree with Christians using something for their position when they don't have any evidence for it in the first place. And for Levain Satanism to use this, you know, Satan as a position, you know, it shows me that I think that they show some acknowledgement about this entity, you know. They acknowledge he's there. They acknowledge that that he is a representation of their position. I could be wrong, and I admit it. And if I am wrong, please correct me on doing on what we're talking about. Because, you know, I have a problem with individuals using something that doesn't exist as a representation. I don't see the point. I'm pretty sure that there's something out there that would be a little more convenient to represent their particular positions that they have. I just don't agree with this whole situation where they, on one hand, don't believe Satan exists, but on the other hand, use him as a representation. You know, I just don't agree with it. There's something in there that's just not jiving with me, you know. And these were some of the ideas that I wanted to throw at you, and hopefully this can create some type of dialogue between us. And keep in mind, I'm more than happy to be educated on something, because I am pretty ignorant in some areas that I sometimes talk about, and I'm more than happy to learn about things. And hopefully this can, like I said, spark up a good dialogue between the two of us. And um, hopefully I can get some answers, you know, to some of the concerns that I have. So with that said, I'm out, Autopsy 87. 
and I await your reply or feel free to comment in the comment section down below as well I'd be more than happy to see your opinion in the comment section as you know doesn't really matter to me but let me know what you think and like I said hopefully a good dialogue would come forward so I will see you next video